What's up guys? Today we got a pretty cool video. It's a video that tons and tons and tons of comments have been left um, over the last month. So I thought today we will address that topic and get it out of the way once and for all and that way it's all over. So you guys stick around cause this one has been asked about a million times. Let's do it. All right guys, so today I wanna to address a topic that's been asked probably about a million and 13 times on this channel in the last month or month and a half, however long it's been. But as you guys know, that's watched my channel for a long time, we've always had Snap on Friday. It's been Snap on Friday since the very beginning. And then we had Cornwell Monday with Joe. And then um, we had, after that, Matco Michael came in because we had a terrible Matco dealer in the beginning, Matco Michael come in and then we started shooting the Matco videos. So we had those three tool truck videos for a long time. After that, we started having Mac Daddy Michael come in with a Mac truck and then, you know, we had four tool truck videos a week. Obviously things have changed since then if you've watched my channel. Um, about four years ago, me and Joven Hamilton started doing the Snap on Friday stuff. Hamilton was a pretty new dealer at that time and you know, he come in the shop and it took us a little while and he was game for shooting videos. And we did that every week and we had a very successful run for a total of about four years. You can go back in the playlist and look and watch the very first snap on Friday all the way to the very last snap on Friday. But I don't know, it's somewhere around 230 videos or something. It was quite a few snap on videos that we did. And I definitely appreciate Hamilton going out of the way to provide that extra time weekly when he come here. Obviously, me and Hamilton grew extremely tight in our friendship over the years. Uh, we went and eat lunch together every single Friday. And then we shot the video after that. Um, you know, Hamilton was great to me. He provided me a lot of great services like all the Snap-on dealers do with a special financing that they have. And he also sold his shop equipment you know, and put, a lot of times he just put it on the truck account, you know. Um, there was times I was paying, you know, almost $1,000 a week, sometimes even more to Hamilton. So I have nothing but good things to say about him. The whole entire time that he was my dealer, he did a fantastic job. I'd call him and need something, he'd make sure we got it, you know. Um, before we bought the first ProLink, he brought the ProLink in and let us use it for quite a while before purchasing that. Um, we bought an AC machine from, from Hamilton and it come in, we filled it up. We used it that Friday, Monday come around and had a leak in and Hamilton called and got us a brand new machine instead of even trying to get that one fixed. Um, you know, he did a, he did a lot of good stuff, you know, I, like when he got a trade in on a couple of toolboxes or roll carts that he thought I'd be interested in, he'd call me and, you know, we'd work out a deal on that. So. You know, he's definitely going to be missed as far as having a dealer. Um, we are still friends. There's no fallout there. There's nothing bad happened between me and Hamilton. Yes, he was paid in full. I didn't owe him any money. Um, you know, it's just, you know, times had changed and Hamilton had got into real estate pretty big time. He was buying and flipping houses. He was buying rental property. And that was kind of the direction he was going and he was making more money at it. And obviously you can't fault a guy that makes more money doing something that he enjoys. Um, I'm sure it's very frustrating being a tool guy trying to collect payments from people that doesn't want to pay their bills. And I'm pretty sure it's probably frustrating because I heard some of the stories that he would talk about how Snap-on would send him products that he didn't order and he was expected to sell them. You know, um, also I think times are changing a little bit for every single tool truck on the market. I feel like the online competition that they're having, you know, is, is making it a little harder for tool trucks to compete, you know, with the online stores and Amazon and stuff like that, because now you can pretty much order a tool and have it in two days versus having to wait a full week for your dealer to show up. Now that's not saying that it's not important to have a tool dealer. I believe that's extremely important, especially if you have tools that you use that make your living. You know, it's nice to have a guy come in um, and bring a tool into your shop 
and you can try it before you even buy it. You know, that happened several times with me with Matco Michael. You know, I'd be working on something or would run into an issue. Matco Michael would bring a tool in the shop, and let us use it. Same way with Hamilton or Joe, you know, like we got a really good relationship and those tool guys are super important if you have a shop. And there's nothing better than when you have a tool that's broken just to hand it to that dealer and get it repaired. But obviously things have kind of changed a little bit because of the internet age and it's made it harder for tool dealers. Now, as far as Hamilton and his situation with Snap-on, I don't know the whole thing there. I didn't get into any of the money aspects, but I do know that he was able to get out of his contract that he had with them when he did close down his business. And, you know, if, if flipping houses makes Hamilton happy and it makes him more money, then I, I support it 125,000%. You know, I believe everybody should do what they like for a living. And if you make more money, that's just a bonus on top of it. He will be dearly missed here around the shop as it was always great to have lunch with Hamilton on Fridays and, you know, just get to hang out on the truck. And I think a lot of you guys come accustomed to snap on Friday, just the banner between myself and Hamilton. It was a great time and it was a lot of fun, but all things do come to an end. And there's where we're at with that. As far as the Mac videos with Mac daddy, Michael, you know, we was doing them every week and he was coming. Obviously now, you guys may not even know this, but we kind of touched on the first couple of videos we did with Mac. Um, he come here, he actually runs the route in Tupelo, which is about 30 miles. So he comes here on Thursdays and we would do the video. He doesn't actually run Boonville where my shop is located as a route. He would just come here, would shoot the videos, I'd get what I needed, whatever, and then he would go back to Tupelo. Obviously that was a huge inconvenience for him. Recently I've been doing quite a bit of traveling. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you see I've went to LA, I've been to uh, Oklahoma City, Chicago, Washington, Florida, it's been quite a bit of different travels that I've been doing lately because I've got some other stuff going on. But needless to say, the it was hard for us to, to get our schedules worked out because obviously with me having a family, I try to get back and that way I'm at home with my family on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday like a normal person would want to be with their family on the weekends. You know, so a lot of times it would require me leaving out on a Sunday, coming back on a Thursday, or getting home Friday morning, whatever the case may be. But either way, um, you know, we just had some scheduling conflicts in the beginning. Um, Michael's got some other stuff that's going on in, in his life and, and stuff. And it's just been hard for us to get our stuff together to shoot videos on Thursday. No, we didn't have a big falling out. I know YouTube loves drama and y'all love to hear the drama and see the drama and smell the drama and lick the drama whatever, there's no drama. There's no drama between me and Hamilton. There's no drama between me and Mac Daddy. Michael, it's all just how it is in life. Obviously, people are busy. I mean, that's the whole thing, like people are busy, right? So there's no fallout between myself and Mac Daddy. I'm not mad at Mac Daddy. I'm not pissed off at Mac. I'm not pissed off at Hamilton. I'm not pissed off at Snap-on. None of that is true or none of that could be even remotely possible. I think the world of both of those dealers and both of those guys, um, it just is what it is, right? I mean, we're all busy. We got a lot of stuff going on. And if you've ever tried to run a business, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's a fine balance between business and home life. But obviously I've got a lot of other stuff going on and YouTube's kind of taking, a, I guess, a side seat, I guess, if you will. You know, I don't focus on YouTube. I really never have. I don't, I just do it because it's here and it's fun, right? So that's the deal. But we'll continue to do our Mac Daddy videos when we can. We'll continue to do our Mac Co videos when we can. And we'll do Joe's videos when we can. Now I do know that Snap-on is trying to put a rep in here. They actually had a regional guy that came to the meetup when we had it. And me and him actually spoke on the subject. They're trying to get a new dealer. I don't know how long it'll be. I don't know who it'll be. I don't know, I don't know anything. I know that's something that they're working on to try to get this position filled because obviously with Hamilton being the dealer that he was, there's tons of shops here that have a lot of snap-on tools. So they're trying to get that position filled as quickly as possible. I do not know if we will get to film on the truck. I don't know. 
Like that's totally up to the dealer because each dealer, even though that's got Snap on or Mac or Mac code that's written on the side of it, it's their franchise, it's their business. They can do as they want to. They can warranty stuff as they recognize that they want to. I've had a ton of complaints, guys saying my Matco dealer won't warranty this, my Snap-on dealer won't warranty this, blah, blah, blah. Each is to their own. As we, we've covered that on Matco Michael's video before, um, you know, it's kind of the dealer discretion whether he wants to take that stock out of inventory to warranty it for you and then wait on it to come back as he sends it in or just have you send it in. Obviously, it depends on if you're a customer of his and you purchase regularly, and I totally understand that and you can't really fault the dealer for that. So, um, you know, that's kind of where we're at with things right now. I've, I've got a lot of stuff that's coming in the works in the future that I think you guys are gonna be interested in. I'm kind of shifting my focus away from tool truck stuff a little bit more because I keep getting the same stuff over and over. I don't have access to Matco. I don't have access to Mac. I don't have access to Snap-on. What should I do? So I'm trying to look at all those bases for you guys when I have a chance to shoot videos. And another big topic that I always have on videos is should I buy a Mac, should I buy a Snap-on, should I buy a Cornwell, should I buy, you know, whatever. My simple answer is always going to be the same. You buy the tool from the man, don't worry about the brand. Because at the end of the day, the dealer's the one that's going to take care of you and he's gonna warranty the tools that you purchase that you got, right? We've all seen on the, the Snap-on truck before, I had a ratchet that I've had since high school. It was, you know, stripped out. I go on the Snap-on truck. Hamilton did not have a repair kit for that. He handed me a brand spanking new ratchet off the shelf. Did he have to do that? Absolutely not. But he took care of me because he is an excellent dealer. Obviously, not all dealers are that way. I'm just fortunate enough to have several really good dealers. But for you guys that don't have good dealers, I've been there, I've done that. You can go back and watch the old Matco video where we swore off Matco forever. You know, the dealer just wouldn't come by here and warranty a ratchet. Now, since then I've learned he was transitioning to gear wrench. That's fine. I still feel like he should have said, hey guys, I'm, I'm moving over to gear wrench. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a Matco dealer anymore. Like that's all he had to have said and everything would have been fine but we didn't, we got the I'll be there tomorrow. And as the old song say by Garth Brooks, tomorrow never comes, right? So anyway, that's kind of my spiel. That's kind of my rant. Um, hopefully that answered some questions that you guys have been asking in the videos, but there won't be any more Snap-on videos with Hamilton. Like he's already got rid of his inventory, he sent everything back that he had. Um, you know, he's already sold his truck. And you know, I, I wish him nothing but the best. He is a super awesome guy. And hopefully we can get some videos with Hamilton. You know, maybe we'll go to the racetrack, maybe we'll go to the lake. I don't know, we'll do something and try to get Hamilton back on some videos. As far as when the new dealer's coming, I don't know. I have no clue. I have spoken with another dealer that's close to here and he's agreed to let us do some videos when new products come out and this and that to kind of help feature some stuff and keep you guys in the loop if you don't have a Snap-on dealer. So thankfully, they're cool enough to do that. But anyway, nope, there's no drama. Sorry to disappoint you. There's no drama with Hamilton or Mac Daddy Mike. It just, it is what it is. And no, I'm not mad at Matco. As you see, I'm wearing a brand spanking new Matco shirt today. So there's no drama anywhere, but there will be some more videos coming and it will kind of shift gears a little bit and kind of feature some stuff that you guys may not have noticed before or I don't know like I'm, I'm just trying to go in a little different direction and, and make the most of the content that I shoot for you guys because obviously there's a ton of good tools out there and we all know that tools rebranded and put on tool trucks and obviously there's a markup that comes with that but there's also the service and and, and stuff that goes along with that but anyway that's my video today hopefully you liked it and for those of you that come here to see the drama between me and Hamilton or me and Mac Daddy Michael, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's just not there. Like always guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. Check down here in the descriptions for all kind of discount codes and cool links and stuff like that. And if you're not subscribed, 
All you gotta do is click that button. It's totally free, and that way you'll see the latest, greatest content that I have to offer you. Like always, guys, y'all have a great weekend, and we will catch y'all later. See ya.